The local push for progress continues as African American leaders take action to end racial injustice. This coming after Saturday's silent peaceful protest in downtown Erie. The story's new at 10 o'clock. Star Bodie spoke to community leaders about ways that they want to concentrate on bringing unity to all. She joins us now in the newsroom. Star. Sean, leaders we spoke to tell us in order to create change, it starts with people using their voice in a positive way. Every person, every person of goodwill should be engaged to be positive, um, to be respectful, but yet to uh, hold their position and um, to hold us, even as clergy. Bishop Dwayne Brock tells us the conversations for change extends to the leaders in our community by taking action and using your voice while accepting one another's differences. We have to sit down and talk with one another and come into mutual agreement. We don't have to agree on everything, but yet I think that is imperative that we leave our egos at the door and learn to respect each other's position. Area leaders are stressing the importance of using your voice in support of those who couldn't. People are broken. Uh, I would say that if you have any specifics to write your thoughts down and write it down so that you can articulate it clearly. Uh, I would say that join, a, uh, join some of the local activist groups that are marching peacefully. During a county council meeting, Horton leading council members in 8 minutes and 46 seconds of silence. The exact amount of time a Minneapolis police officer knelt on George Floyd's neck. Set out correspondence. Horton says equality for all is an ongoing conversation, but starts with inspiring the younger generation. We need to hold our teachers more accountable. Uh, and I know that they can't be a, a, one, a one hat or one stop shop uh, or social workers, but we need to hold them more accountable to our children's education. We need to change what's being taught in the school district. Now, Bishop Brock also tells us that the African-American clergy, along with local and law enforcement, look to meet in the weeks to come to create new policies for diversity and equality within the community. Sean? Star Bodie live in the newsroom tonight. Thank you, Star.